hi everyone welcome back to my channel and it's that time of the week where i show you the dolls all cleaned up from the thrift store uh, so if you missed my thrifting uh, doll hunting video i will put the link down below in the description so you can see what these dolls look like before the cleanup and again credit for the cleanup goes to my mother uh, she usually has more time than i do otherwise these dolls would be sitting in the boxes for a while <laughs> And she actually enjoys it too, you know, it's something that we kind of do together, you know, the thrifting and cleaning up the dolls and things like that. So it's a fun thing for us to do together. Um, so the first one I have here, I still haven't identified this doll. So if you know who she is, let me know. She hasn't changed much. We just cleaned her up. Um, I kept her wearing the same bikini. Uh, she does have this tattoo on her belly. And she has the big feet. So let me know who she is. If you do know, um, she does have, a, you know, a very different, unique face. So that's why I kept her. I also thought it was interesting that she has the tattoo. I don't know if it is original. It looks like it is. But anyway, that was interesting. The next one is a Jazzy doll. And I did figure out who she is from my uh, Barbie book. Um... I think she's wearing a bathing suit, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to go back and look at the picture again. Uh, she's wearing the original headband and the necklace. Uh, but I put her in this little dress. I don't know which Barbie dress this is, but it's one that I had just, you know, in my collection. So, you know, we cleaned her up. She's in decent condition. I mean, her hair is a little bit frizzy on some parts, like here underneath. I don't know if it's because of the necklace gets caught in the hair. Um, but, you know otherwise she's you know she's in good condition so she's the only jazzy i have in my collection um you know i've never found any others i don't think the next one is a really exciting one i'm so happy to have added her um you know growing up i had the glitter hair barbie the redhead one um and she's quite expensive on ebay right now so i haven't been able to buy one for my collection because i i did try at some point to kind of you know buy all the dolls that i had as a child and I, I have been pretty much successful in getting quite a few of the dolls um but the glitter hair barbie is the only one i think that i haven't really been able to get is because she's a little bit pricey so i'm going to hold off and see if i can find her somewhere you know eventually even in the thrift store who knows uh, but for now i have this beauty here her hair you know remember uh remember her face was in really bad condition had like a lot of red stains on it thankfully that got removed really easily so maybe it was just dirt you know like lipstick or something i don't know and then her hair also you know is quite soft so you know i'm glad that we're able to save her and and i'm glad i actually took a chance and got her because you know her face did have those stains and so sometimes you know i'm a little bit uh scared to to spend the money and not be able to fix it but I'm glad that that one worked out. And then I put the dress on her. This dress, uh, Jazzy was originally wearing this dress when I found her at the thrift store. But it fits her up uh, better. So I did put it on her. So I'm happy about this girl. Then is this uh, Steffi Mole doll. I did look her up and I think I identified her. Now I forget what outfit she's wearing. So she is not wearing uh, this bikini. I don't know who this bikini belongs to. Again, the, the panties are not in good shape. So... I don't know i may put other pants on her maybe just have her wearing the top for now this might look good on a curvy barbie maybe i wonder you know the bikini but i like that the blue matches her earring and her makeup but anyway and these sunglasses i think they were from a recent barbie fashion pack i just thought they were perfect for her so i'll just pretend she has short hair because as you guys can see the back unfortunately somebody cut her hair but other than that you know she's a really gorgeous doll so i'm happy uh, to have her in my collection then the next one is this Teresa doll and I have her in this plastic because when I first got her I don't remember you know that I noticed she had some spots after the cleanup I don't know if you guys can see here on the camera do you guys see these spots on her face like I don't know if this is mold or what but I'm you know she's been cleaned up and they won't go away I mean maybe i'll try doing the acne treatment to see if they will go away but it's very strange so for now i'm kind of keeping her in this plastic bag just in case you know i don't want it to get on the other dolls and i did keep her in this outfit um you know if anything happens i can wash it but yeah i don't know what do you guys think i don't know if you guys can see it but 
it's very odd you know because when i first got her i don't remember that i noticed there were any spots on her face so we'll see but she's still a beautiful doll and then next is this doll i think she, she, she's from fisher price and i think her name is my jenny doll my friend jenny doll um she was wearing this outfit but the outfit was actually the, the shirt was on top of the, the skirt and she had these black tights which I don't think belong to her because they look like they were very short so you know i'm going to try to go online and find some shoes for her and this other girl right here oh, what is this like a piece of doll hair i think um but yeah but i just think she's adorable like every time i look at her face because she sits kind of close to uh across from my bed where i am and, and so every time i look at my collection from where i'm sitting in bed i just look at her face and i just smile you know she just has the cutest sweetest face so i'm glad i got her she was really really cheap too um but yeah so that's that doll and then here we have the rainbow uh poopsie surprise doll um you know she didn't change much obviously she had her original outfit and even the socks are just missing her shoes so i'm gonna try to track that down online somewhere the hair was in great condition so really she just needed a wash so anyway guys that was it for this haul and actually what i've been trying you know thinking about doing is identifying because i have so many like superstar era barbies and things like that so what i'm thinking is identifying those dolls and trying to track down their outfits online so we'll see if I'm able to do that if, if I do you know find a way to do it maybe I'll make a video about it um just because it'd be cool to get them all complete you know anyway guys thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time ciao